Now, how do you check equivalence of a fraction? Now, this is very important. So, how do you check that? You will be checking it through cross multiplication. Okay? You will be checking it through cross multiplication. I will show you with a number so that it's easy to understand. Suppose we have to check whether 3 by 5 and 6 by 10 are equivalent fraction or not. So I'll just write again 3 by 5 and 6 by 10. What you will be doing is cross multiplication. Suppose we have a question that we have to check whether 3 by 5 and 6 by 10 are equivalent fraction or not. Okay. So what we have to do is cross multiply. That is you have to multiply 3 by 10 and you have to multiply 5 by 6. So 3 into 10 you have to multiply and 5 into 6 you have to multiply. 3 into 10 is 30. 5 into 6 is also 30. Okay. Because you are getting the cross multiplication equal, that is 3 into 10 is 30, 5 into 6 is also 30. That means, okay, 3 by 5 and 6 by 10 are equivalent fraction. 3 by 5 and 6 by 10, when we were given a question to find out equivalent fraction, what we did is, we did cross multiplication. We did 3 into 10 and 5 into 6. 3 into 10 is 30. 5 into 6 is also 30. Since both the numbers when we cross multiply, we are getting the same answer which is 30. That's the reason 3 by 5 and 6 by 10 are equivalent fractions. Let's solve one more example students. Suppose we take a number 4 by 5 and 16 by 18. What is the question? We have to find whether they are equivalent fraction or not. So what we have to do? We have to do cross multiplication. Okay, I'll write, rewrite the number again. 4 by 5 and 16 by 18. What I will be doing is I will be doing cross multiplication. So, what I have to do is 4 into 18 and I will write 5 into 16. So, when I do 4 into 18, it is 72. When I do 5 into 16, I will get 8080. Now, 72 is not equal to 80. Hey na? 72 is not equal to 80. Therefore, 4 by 5 and 16 by 18 are not equivalent fractions. Alright. I hope you all have understood this method.